people on. My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today is Friday, October 15th. We can go to our mommy. You know what that means? That Mom. means Mom. Whew, we're getting closer to that date, boys and girls. Uh, Alright, so in our Jesus Calling book, <clears throat> today it reads, Try to stay conscious, conscious, conscious. I can't read today, guys. He's sleepy. <laughs> Stay, try to stay conscious of me as you go step by step through this day. My presence with you is both a promise and a protection. Surely I am with you always. That promise was for all my followers without exception. The promise of my peace is a, power, is a powerful protection. As you journey through life, there are numerous pitfalls along the way. Many voices clamor for your attention, enticing you to go their way. A few steps away from your true path are pits of self-pity self and despair, plateaus, plateaus of pride and self-will. If you take your eyes off of me and follow another's way, you are in grave danger. Even well-meaning friends can lead you astray if you let them unsurp my place in your life. The way to stay on the path of life is to keep your focus on me. Awareness of my presence is your best protection. I like that one. That's a good one. Because believe me, I've taken many other paths. And still sometimes do. But now, I return my focus to him a whole lot quicker than ever before. You want to read what page? We just read this page. This page. Well, let's finish getting ready for school and begin our day. Drop a comment. Bye! Corvette. Hashtag Bye. Corvette. Bye. Woo! Here we go, guys. We got some more scrap. We're about to go scrap some of this and then over here we got to cut this down because that's a little too big for the trailer <clears throat> after that we're going to come and take all this stuff to the dump make sure you got your little go-go juice it's pretty chilly out here this morning i wish that i had some gloves my hands are kind of cold a little numb and uh my nose is cold <laughs> but we are about to cut open another compressor and this time we'll show you guys the whole process in a time lapse of course sit back and enjoy two one there we go now we're cut through and we don't even that came unplugged so we don't even got to snip it off there but now starts the dismantling it's kind of weird that that screw is that bolt is loose so is this one so we don't even gotta get tools not yet anyhow 
But now we got some more up here that we got to get loose. And the goal of what we're trying to do is get this copper out um, because there's a lot of copper there. So we'll take this whole little piece out, which I don't think it'll lift up yet. No, we got to get these off there. Do you happen to have your mini crescent on you? I didn't bring it today. Okay. I we'll go in the shop. We doing, we'll so. grab some of these. And then this is going to be done, and we can throw it on the scrap trailer and head to take scrap out. Let's do that. Go ahead and end that. I think. All right, so now we got those little nuts off. We're just going to pull this out. Oh, man. Leave it up to me. There we go. So look at that. Double side is copper, and then all the way through it is copper as well. So this is where you get a little bit more money out of this. And now this thing still got some weight, but that's as far as we take it apart. Um, now we just go throw this on the trailer over there and we're gonna take it to the scrap yard. This we're not gonna mess with today, but let's show you what it looks like. Actually press the button. So this is what it looks like, the process of trying to get that out. You're supposed to be able to just pull that out, but uh, I'll tell you right now, it doesn't work that well. It's a lot of angel hair to pull out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skinny. So we'll deal with that later. Right now, we're gonna go load up the trailer and head to the scrapyard. I think. I think we're ready for that. Oh, oops, sorry. All right, guys, now we're getting the dump run ready. So we just made a little bit of money at the uh, scrapyard. I'm gonna set you right here for a time lapse. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, there we go. She is ready to roll. Now we're off to Roy's. We're gonna go get some lunch. And then to the dump. Food and then dump. That's how it works, isn't it? Catch you guys in a bit. Back at the dump. Looks like I got time to get in front of that guy there. We're off this way. Look at what they're doing. They're putting out a new building. That's what they're doing. And what's funny is last time we were out here, uh, one of you guys messaged me. He was like, hey, I know what you guys are, I know what's going on out there, but here we are pulling in the dump. Let's enjoy this trip. I'm just gonna and we're back we're live we're live we're not live we're just recording <laughs> we're live <laughs> we are all set now at the dump Woo -woo. now we get to head on out and uh well i think that's it i think that's our day i think so I could play some 
big toys like these out here. It sure would be a lot of fun. Get on some of this equipment. Kinda like hitting that mud hole. That would be nice. <laughs> drill or something right I have no idea what that is pretty sweet yeah, that's cool there's all the oil yep <laughs> hey bud don't come this way <laughs> Guys like that are the reason why we got dodge branches on the highway. Yeah, you don't strap that stuff down. Strap it down, yeah. Tell me, tell me about firefighters, fire safety. Okay. When you want to fire a fire, you don't want to do it. No, you did, you roll out of the house. And then you just get out the house, just fall out that house. You don't want to dip on one of the fire, no. And then you have a dog or a dad, uh -huh. a pet. A firefighter needs the wonder and did it and no one else and not humans and does. And does. It does say a fire. I just take him and just say, I'm right here. And I'll pick you up. Just sit out the house and blow out the house. And just that fire out the house. And then he will get out that house. And then he will get. Put the fire out? Fire out. The and fire. then he'll go back. You really like fire. Fire, fire safety, huh? Yeah. I yeah. Really like you know what's funny? What? Is that daddy in high school, I taught little kids about fire safety <gasps> with one of my buddies, Jordan. You mean the acid? Yep, him and I, we, we taught fire safety and for FFA day, day on the farm. You have a, you have a firefighter? <laughs> you have a fire in his house? No. We just taught it. We taught little people like you and your brothers about fire safety. At your school? Yeah, at school. It was really cool. It was a fun day where a lot of little kids learn about, a lot about on the stuff on the farm. Pretty neat. I wonder if they still do it. Dad. You're showing them your hand. Wait. Oh, don't do that. Are you done? Done. Okay. Boom. We got my soda. Faint orange. Faint orange. Orange juice. Oh, yeah. Hold this, Dad. Okay, I got it. And my fishies. His white, his red, but look, guys. Look at me. It will be cool. I did it this. Watch. Boom. We got this for this. Got this. We got this. This is too.